Hello friends, welcome to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I'm here at Cape Hatteras on our way to Oak Crow for the day. I'm gonna ride the ferry, drive on it. I've done this before, there's a couple videos of me and my friends doing this, but today it's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna walk you around the island of Ocracroke and show you around. Just hang out. No special agenda, just see what's shaking. Glad you're here. This is the line of the ferry. We got here a little early, but too late for the last ferry. This is what the ferry boat looks like, except much larger. <laughs> To give you a perspective where we're at, uh, right there where that heart is, we're gonna cross that little bit of water. There's a little bigger map. You can see here we go from here at the end of Cape Hatteras and all the way over to Ocracoke Island. There's some stuff to do at the Ocracoke Lighthouse. We're definitely gonna see that. And here's a map of Ocracoke Island itself. A little faded. We'll probably find a better one. See. The ferry has arrived, so time to get in the truck and start moving. Just checked out the 1718 brewery. Now we're walking around, looking at some art. We're here at the Over the Moon Gallery. There's supposed to be a lot of artists here. Let's go. Five-ish, cool. Lots of artsy stuff in here. Okay, I can see how they have 150 artists. They said they have 150 artists here displaying their art. Lots of different stuff. Interesting rolling tray. Okay. Now we're gonna walk around to the rest of the store and see what else is in here. One of the greatest inventions I've ever seen in my entire lifetime, a pair of socks that's not a pair, it's a triplet. They give you one extra for when you do lose that extra sock that you really love this pair and you lose it, well, you have an extra. I think it's an amazing idea. Great job. Furthermore, look at the giant socks they offer. Huge. Do they give you three of those? No, just two of the giant socks, but I think it's still very cool. This is interesting, Yoga Joes. It's a G.I. Joe, well, not G.I. Joe, it's just a little army men in yoga poses. <laughs> Clever stuff. Look at these nice meditative candles with Taylor Swift, Betty White, uh, some people I don't know, Steve Carell, the guy from The Office, cool. Chewbacca. Oh, here's a cat people bar, so it smells like purring. Do you like that? It does. Smells like purring. Close by. Well, it's the Oak Croak Island Light Station. Cool place. It's really windy today. The Ocracoke Island Lighthouse is an interesting place. It was federally built. When it's finally built, the local government didn't really like that it was built the way that it was. In fact, they even 
talked about claims that the lightkeeper's house right here was badly framed, it wasn't built properly. There were claims that the lighthouse wasn't built on the proper foundation, so that it might be defunct in a short amount of time, which made the locals not really care for the people that were operating it. So there's more to the story, but it's a historical place, and a lot of people say that this place is haunted. Who haunts this lighthouse? I don't know. I'm nearly positive that at one point that I was here, there was a cemetery right here. Oh, it's behind the, it's behind the fence. Okay, let's go check it out. If you bypass the footbridge, you can walk right over here to the cemetery and pay your respects to those lighthouse keepers that have gone before us. Just a simple walk around the gate and get a little closer. Josephus and Marianne Fletcher. She lasted quite a long time past him. Elizabeth O'Neill died in, looks like 1887. 1990. Newest one here. And a couple of small graves here too. This light station was built in 1823, a long time ago. A little over 50 years later, this house was expanded to house two families instead of just one. Ocracoke Island is a great place to hang out for the day. If you're in the Outer Banks, it's worth a day trip to rent a bike or a golf cart and poke around town. There's plenty of little bars and art shops and history museums, all kinds of things to see. Everyone seems pretty friendly, like they're in vacation mode. Oak Crow Water Tower. A whale skull. Weird. That's all we have time for today, my friends. I wish I could show you around all of the cool little places on Ocracroke Island. If you want to extend your stay here on Ocracroke, well, join me on my other channel, The Brew Traveler for a visit to the 1718 Brewery, which was very good. There's a full interview with the brewer. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I appreciate your company. I'll see you in the next video.